Patients who have a mastectomy can choose to use a prosthesis or to have reconstructive surgery. At McGee, mastectomies are done by surgical oncologists, while reconstruction is performed by plastic surgeons. Reconstructive surgery does not have to be done immediately, so patients can try using a prosthesis to see if it suits them. Some patients request immediate reconstructive surgery. To create an aesthetically pleasing breast that is the same size, shape, weight, and appearance of the original usually takes more than one operation and touch-up procedure. Patients should check their medical insurance to verify that reconstruction of the breast and operations on the normal breast to make the pair symmetrical are covered. Patients are sometimes embarrassed about reconstruction. They may feel that it's vain, that they're too old, or that they should be focused on the cancer, not how they look. Reconstruction helps patients to feel complete, to wear the clothes they like, and to participate in the activities they enjoy, which are good, positive reasons. There are two types of reconstructive surgery, implant-based or autologous tissue, which simply means using your own tissue. I was reconstructing because I have a lot of years ahead of me. My mastectomies, they removed my breast tissue, but they put expanders in. So I had to go to my um, plastic surgeon every couple weeks. He would inject these expanders with saline uh, so they would get as big as I wanted my new breast to be. And um, I went back. I had silicon implants put in. I had nipple reconstruction done. And um, I have a nicer chest now than I did before. I'm one of the lucky ones, I guess. During implant-based reconstruction, the plastic surgeon places a deflated implant called a tissue expander under the muscle. The expander is often placed at the time of mastectomy. The patient is given about three weeks to heal. The patient visits the surgeon's office weekly to have the expanders inflated. A small needle is inserted through the skin and a little bit of salt water is injected into the implant. The tissue expander stretches the overlying skin just as a pregnancy stretches the tummy. When the skin is stretched sufficiently, the expander is removed and replaced with a permanent implant. This surgery is usually done as an outpatient and recovery is generally quick. Implants tend to create a circular profile, like a half coconut, that may not match the other teardrop-shaped breast. Additional procedures can be done later on the other breast to improve the symmetry. There are also several types of autologous tissue reconstructive surgery. Some surgeries use tissue from the back. The tram flap, or transverse rectus abdominis myocutaneous flap, uses abdominal tissue. The tram flap involves doing a tummy tuck to remove one or two of the sit-up muscles and moving the tissue up to the mastectomy site to recreate a breast. Newer variations of the tram use less muscle. Tram flap reconstruction is a more complicated surgery than the implant, so it requires a longer recovery at home. When I had my mastectomy, I had a reconstruction at the same time. I have what they call a tram flap, and they take the muscle from your stomach and bring that muscle up and make the breast out of the muscle from your stomach. So I went to sleep with two breasts and I woke up with two breasts. I got the custom made prostheses and um, I do wear them when I'm getting dressed up or for a special occasion because I, I must concede clothes fit a little bit better uh, when, you, when you do have somewhat of a chest, but um, I don't wear them every day. Um, and the one thing I, I did neglect to say, I was offered the option of having the tram flap surgery done. Um, and I think at that point, it was more anesthesia and it was a longer operation. And I just wanted to get on and going with everything. And I thought if it was a longer recovery, I, I didn't want to do that.